In this video, we're going to be using random samples to compare populations. So looking at this first one, it says two bags each contain 1,000 numbered tiles. The double box and whisker plot represents a random sample of 12 numbers from each bag. Compare the samples using measures of center and variation. Can you determine which bag contains tiles with greater numbers? So looking at this, if we want to compare these using measures of center and variation, uh, the first thing we want to look at is the distribution of our data. So generally speaking, if our data is skewed right or skewed left, we don't want to use a mean. The reason for this is that skewed data uh, is, means it has outliers, and those outliers can strongly affect the mean. Um, whereas we can use a median, and that's just going to find our middle value. So it doesn't matter if uh, there's an extreme outlier on either end. So in this case, right, we have probably one or two numbers that are much larger than the rest of our data, and that would drive our mean way higher. But because it's a median that we're going to look at, it's not affected by how much larger that number is. So we'll use a median here since our data is skewed. Um, and then we'll also find the interquartile range. So we can see for bag A, the median is 4, and the IQR, 6 minus 3, is 3. And then for bag B, the median is 3, and the interquartile range, 5 minus 2, is also 3. Um, seeing that these numbers, at least so far, are only ranging from 1 to 9, uh, an IQR of 3 is really large, right? That's 33% of 9. So in other words, that's a lot of variability. Um, so basically, we're going to say, can you determine which bag contains tiles with greater numbers? We really can't. Um, for this example, our sample is too small. Right, we've only done 12 numbers out of a thousand total, so it's a very small sample and a lot of variability. So while bag A has a larger median, 4, than bag B, 3, uh, there's really not enough data here and too much variability for us to confidently draw any conclusions. Let's look at a different example now. So this double box and whisker plot represents the medians of 50 random samples of 12 numbers from each bag from the last example that we did. So right, this time you did 50 random samples of 12 numbers and you found the median of those each time. So this represents a lot more data this time, right? So <clears throat> we're going to compare our variability of the sample medians to the variability of the samples in example one. So starting there, right, our IQR for bag A 6 minus 5 is 1. So in other words, 50% of our data here is within 5 and 6. That's very little variability and much closer together compared to our IQR last time of 3. And for bag B, the IQR is 4 minus 3, which is also 1. So comparing our IQRs here, 1, to our IQRs in the previous example, which was 3, there's a lot less variability in this data. So that makes us more confident that we could probably use this to draw some conclusions about bag A and bag B. Uh, the other piece that we can use is that we have 50 random samples of 12 numbers. So that is 600 numbers that you've drawn in total compared to just 12 from the first example. So this is plenty of data. We're going to go ahead and say that we can draw some conclusions about bag A and bag B here. So the last step would be for us to look at our median, right? The median for bag A is 5.5 and the median for bag B is 3.5. So we can conclude that it's very likely that bag A has more tiles with greater numbers.